Hey everybody, Dre right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. So Avoid Interactive came out with a bunch of information just a few seconds ago, so I thought that I would take the time to go over what came out here. But before I really dive into that, a random email was sent to me by somebody who was giving me an anonymous tip before the video and all this information was dropped, but it was basically saying that Void Interactive is going to be at a convention in California called DreamHack Anaheim. Anaheim. I'm not sure if that's how you say that, but it's going to be taking place from the 21st to the 23rd. Now, at first, I didn't think that this was actually real, but this was later confirmed when I read the uh, newsletter, which we'll get into that later. But yeah, that was interesting how it was leaked to me before it actually came out, but we're going to be moving on from there. So basically what happened is that Void Interactive dropped a video called Evidence. So if a lot of people didn't know that there was anything going on in the background, they do now. For those of you that are unaware, Void Interactive has this AI that I and the community have been covering for the longest time now. I have a couple of videos that you could go and watch. They'll be linked up at the top right on the eye icon for you to check out so that you could get yourself caught up with the whole situation. But yeah, this is definitely a video that I'm going to deep dive into because there's just like a lot of hidden stuff here. Some that are more blatant than others. We're definitely going to be talking more about this stuff in a future video, but this video today is to talk about the newsletter that was released alongside of this video. That is what we're going to be getting in today. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to be starting with this part. As we continue to expand our team and incorporate new talents of all sorts who are passionate about crafting great video games and making Ready or Not the best experience we could possibly deliver, most recently, we have had up to 25 persons on the team, including but not limited to 3D and 2D artists, game designers, sound designers, technical animators, programmers, a music composer, and general production professionals. We are so lucky to have picked up some great talents to complement the team and are making relentless this progress which makes us both happy and confident with the results we are achieving and our capability to deliver on. So it seems as if they added more people to their roster because before I would always say that they had anywhere from 10 to 20 people but I'm assuming due to the good sales of the supporter edition they were able to add more people so I mean that's good to hear. I honestly hope that they'll just be able to finish all this stuff before June comes out and then below that they show a gif which I'll just let it play out here. So in case you haven't noticed, this is the exact same area that was featured in the busted trailer. And I think this GIF kind of shows off what I had speculated in that video is that the guy wasn't actually looking for money because if he was, then he wouldn't be throwing money all over the place. And, and as you can see in the GIF, he's throwing money outside of the bag, meaning that he's actually looking for something else aside from money. I feel like I nailed that one in the head. But yeah, pretty cool GIF. I think this is actually like the first time they showed off gameplay in a long while. I wonder if this is actually a co-op mission or if it's a single player mission though. I'm assuming it's in co-op or single player because that felt really scripted there. But yeah, let's move on. After that, they talk about their primary focus throughout January into February. So this is basically what they've already done. They are refining the new AI system by trying to make it more cutting edge and realistic and challenging for the co-op and single player. They say that their suspect AIs are designed to be emotional, lethal, and real. It says that players may find them rummaging through cash registers on arrival and then see them retreat or hide or take hostages when threatened. The SWAT AI behavior, on the other hand, will reflect their high-level tactical training. They will be both reliable and independent, capable of executing your commands with realistic entry and room clearing techniques, pulling smart angles when waiting for commands, mindfully arresting subjects and recovering evidence as you move on. The civilian AI is also getting a performance lift. They will act more like how you would expect a real-world civilian to act in these situations. As we have been talking about for the 
these past few months. So that's pretty neat. As much as I would like to tell you what the AI is like now, I simply can't. But what's here sounds interesting and I can't wait to try out the new AI when it comes out. Moving on. So along with the AI system comes the new animation system that they are using motion capture technology, which is kind of like the pinnacle at this point. Like what indie studio isn't using? Even how Let Loose is using it now. It's everywhere. They're saying that a lot of new animations are going to be added to the alpha, but not only are they going to be added to the alpha, supporters will be seeing them incorporated into upcoming builds, including multiple variations of arresting and surrendering animations, which I have seen. I don't really talk about them though, but I think a lot of people are going to like them. And yeah, the animations. Cool. I wonder if we're going to get like custom like takedown animations. That'd be kind of cool. Let's move on to something else. In the next section, they talk about user interface. They say that they have a unique and specific artistic vision when it comes to how they want the game to look and feel. They want the player to experience a good design philosophy. So they are currently working on new UI layouts and visual takes for the game's different screens so that maneuvering through the ui feels more smoother more practical more efficient which i would like nothing more than to see that happen all right pretty cool let's get on to the next section here this one they talk about how the progress of their level design and refinement have gotten better they are currently very close to finishing all blockouts for every level likely to be featured in the full game those of you that don't know what a blockout level is it's essentially a um it's a level that's not fully built yet so everything is like that gray play-doh looking color like the details have yet to be added into those maps just yet i believe so that's kind of cool that they're pretty much getting closer to the end game here full release of the game is pretty long off but i mean the june beta is just around the corner and that's where you can actually show off the game so it seems to be shaping up and you know they seem to be refining it and doing the final texture of the map and uh adding those environmental art assets so we'll see how it goes when it finally you know comes out but yeah let's move on the next thing they show off is like a picture of i believe another uh like outdoor shooting range i believe i played on this although it looks a little different from what i remember has some text underneath this photo here it says blockout level an early stage of level design and environmental art creation a blockout utilizes primitive geometric shapes to block in level designs game environments and, and game art assets and is designed to test size scale and gameplay so yeah pretty much what i already said before fair enough moving on up next we got newest alpha level blockout we've got a new version of hotel welcome to the new and improved wonderly hills hotel unfortunately Unfortunately, a band of unexpected guests had decided to check in without reservations. Whoa. I have my theories of what's going on there. I think it's like a little mini war that's going on at hotel between uh, the cartels and the white supremacists or the Aryan race guys. I think that's what's going on at the Wonderly Hills Hotel, but I could be wrong. Up next, we got Valley. Lifestyles of the rich and the famous. The SWAT team has it big. A hillside mansion with a pool and magnificent view of the city. Issue is, this mansion is occupied by a scumbag movie producer producer arresting him will be a hell of a lot more exciting than the schlock he produces yeah so i think a lot of people are gonna play this map and be like wow this reminds me a lot of gta you'll get why once you see it or play it and the last thing that we have here is their last closing statements here they basically reiterate what they said before but that they were also going to add more features like functionalities including adjustments to attachments and other tactical gear new weapons quality of life changes bug fixes and more they're also going to add numerous upgrades to their sound systems bringing in more voice is to bring life to the ready or not characters and of course their music team keeps on working on the soundtrack that will accompany each different mission and scenario while playing when players encounter certain scenarios yeah and the last thing that they say here is that um, some of them will be attending dreamhack in anaheim california from the 21st to the 23rd of february which is actually today i believe i am actually not far from there so i don't know i'm thinking about it maybe i'll go i don't know sometime maybe tomorrow the day after but yeah they're going to have a booth in the indie playground where they hope to garner feedback and gain attention from players that may not yet have heard of ron so that's going to be interesting they're going to be showing off some stuff there then like they have to be right shit is durag going to have to do a uh, on location durag is going to be uh live and in person devs are going <laughs> to know what it looked like oh shit well there you have it that's pretty much everything when it comes to the alpha newsletter that just came out so now i'm going to start analyzing the uh video and drop that video sometime later on but yeah overall i think that this was good but again this is probably only for people that are actually in the alpha not so much for anybody that's actually trying to look to see what you know is actually in the game itself because i'm sure there's a lot of people that are on the fence about this game but they want to know about what the game is see actual gameplay like no cuts in between like they want to see what the character is actually doing in first person so those are just my thoughts tell me what you think down below if you're someone that enjoys the fact that i cover red you're not extensively be sure to like share comment because it really helps fight against the 
algorithm. If you're someone that wants to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send me two bucks a month, it really helps. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.